Hey, what's up, everyone? On this episode of Roscoe's Reef, it's testing day. It's Hannah versus Red Sea. Hannah Checker Alkalinity versus Red Sea Alkalinity. Are they both accurate? Will they stack up? Let's find out now. Okay guys, so today we're talking about testing, in particular we're talking about comparing the Hanna Checker Alkalinity with the Red Sea Alkalinity tests, just to see if they compare up or whether we come out with totally different numbers. But before we do that, uh, I plan on doing a video going into each product that I test with on a weekly basis. This is the Red Sea Reef Foundation Pro Test Kit. And here you see it comes with alkalinity, calcium, and a magnesium test, and all the reagents involved. All the syringes and the titrator right here. And this is a test kit that I've used throughout the length of the time that I've been in the hobby. I trust this uh, test kit, and I've used basically nothing else. Um, and it's it's never failed me. You have three handy cards, and the thing I really like about the cards is that they're laminated. So they can get wet, and you just wipe them off, and they'll dry up without a smudge. Um, also, what I use is a refractometer. Uh, in my opinion, there's no other way to check salinity, but with that, uh, this is the most accurate in my opinion. I also use the Red Sea Nitrate Test Kit and the ELOS Phosphate Test Kit. Now the reason I use ELOS is that it tests for both organic and inorganic phosphate which um, I want to make sure that I test for both so this way uh, I get the most accurate reading possible. The recent purchase has been the HANA pH checker and the alkalinity checker. I have used this in the past, uh, but never owned it, so I figured now is the time to make the commitment, go ahead and purchase them, and use them in a test. So uh, what we'll do today is just go through testing, the steps to test with each, and see what the results are. Now when I get my results, what I do is I log them not only in a, in a book, so I can look back over the course of my lifetime in the hobby and tell you exactly what <laughs> a particular time frame, what the test results were, but also I log them in aquaticlog.com. A link for this website is in um, the description down below. And this is just a place where you can go and follow all your tests that you've ever done uh, good and bad numbers I don't hide anything from anybody I'm not perfect so all the reds is where it's a kind of a high test result whether you agree or not um, entering them is really simple uh, I have done two today so all you would have to do is like temperature and all you do is enter what your temperature is and add and now it'll go in the column right there uh, one more time we'll do it for salinity and click to the value and today's reading was 1.027 which is a little high so I know that I'm gonna have to tone that down a little bit and add it and you can see right here where I've been up to 1.028 so my last four tests have come in high and I'll correct that um, with a water change so let's get into testing the alkalinity and let's go through each one okay so here we are with the Red Sea we're gonna do the Red Sea first now what I like to do is you see with the Red Sea you get three reagent uh, syringes 
And just to keep things in track, what I do is I take a Sharpie and I'll mark the ends of them. So this way I know exactly which one I'm using for which so I don't confuse them. This, out of all the uh, tests that come in the refoundation, is probably the easiest one to do. You're going to take your vial, just uncap it, and as the card shows, you're going to take 10 milliliters of sample water and just put that in the vial. So I'm going to come in and get There we go. 10 milliliters of sample. And I'm going to put that into the vial. Now, what you have to do is attach this to the titrator. And this is just a way that you can easily hold this whole setup in one hand and run the test. And then I'm going to take my syringe for my reagent and get one mil of that. Okay. So as you can see, there's one mil of reagent. The reason why there's a gap between the 9 mil, 0.9 and 1, is that it takes into account the tip. Now, you, what you do is you then put this into the titrator and holding it in one hand, you're going to start pushing down, dropping drop by drop, and changing the colors. I'm not going to show the whole thing, I'll just show you the bottom. Right here is where you can see what your start color wants to, you want to be at and what the end color needs to be. So that's what we're going to do. Now I'm going to cut this here and then come back and show you the end result. Okay, so we're back and it just changed over the color. You can see the two colors match up. What you're going to do now is take the syringe out carefully and you're going to read where the bottom plunger is at. Now on this, what I'm seeing, and I don't know whether you can pick that up, is it's at 0.3, and that looks like 0.38, okay? So with 0.38 being taken out, to get back to one mil, that would be 6.2 of the reagent that was used. We'll flip this over and you can read the back. 6.2 reagent used gives us a DKH of 8.7. I usually like to be at 9 with it, but I'll, I'm not going to go crazy over an 8.7 DKH. I know that what I'll have to do is maybe up my calc washer a little bit and raise that so it keeps the 9.0. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll log this in and now we'll test it also with the, the HANA checker and see if we come out with 8.7. Okay, so hold on and we'll be right back with that. Okay, so here's the HANA checker alkalinity. This is the card that comes with it. It's just a quick reference card. And what you have to do is first um, you turn on the meter uh, till it says add C1 then you're going to put a curvette which are the glass vials that come with it filled up filled with water up to that line you put that into the HANA checker and then you're going to press the button it will say add C2 and then you're going to add one mil of the reagent you're going to turn it over three times as the picture shows and then push uh, put it into the HANA checker and press the button okay so that's what we're going to do right now let's get this all set up here first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill 
the vial, or the curvette as they call it, with 10 mil of sample water. And you can see that's right here. That's 10 mil. Uh, no, it's actually, yeah, that's at 10 mil, okay. So we'll put that in the sample into the curvette. Okay, you can see it comes right up to the line. Now what I like to do is, I know Hannah Checkers have a thing about keeping fingerprints off the curvette. So what I'll do is I'll just wipe this really good. And now I will press it. And there it is, add C1. So we'll put this in. Press it again. Okay, now it says add C2. So what we'll do is we'll take this out. Open up the curvette, open up the reagent, and I need one mil of the reagent. Okay, this tip comes in with comes along with the kit. So you're just filling up that much of that tip. And now we'll put that in the curvette. Recap it. One, two, three. Push it back in here, close it up, and press it. And it says 9.2. Now this alkalinity uh, checker comes already pre-calibrated uh, for DKH. So there's no conversion needed. So this is saying my DKH is 9.2 now as you can see the Red Sea came out with 8.7 and the Hannah Checker came out with 9.2 which is some difference so what my plans are at this point is to redo the tests make sure that we that all my numbers are on point and if they do come out that much apart, it's going to tell me that I need to send a sample of my water out and get it uh, examined by, a, by the lab. Usually, uh, I think it's Triton that does that. And for $50, they'll do a sample of my water and give come back with the, uh, the lab tested numbers. So this way I can get a right figure. So that's pretty much it. Uh, and we'll do more uh, videos of this series going through each product and how to use it. And we'll do a full-blown review on the uh, Red Sea Reef uh, Foundation test kit, as well as the other ones that I showed in the beginning of the video. So that's it for me right now. Uh, and as always, this is Scott, and I will see you soon around the reef tank.